right, everyone, welcome back. As we continue to celebrate Asian Restaurant Month and Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, we also want to highlight some of the incredible history of the culinary arts in this community. So joining me now, I have the honor of having David Tu and Skip Wynn. They're co-owners of South by Saigon and talking about crawfish, taking it a whole new level and the importance of this month. So gentlemen, thank you so much. And their brother-in-laws, by the way. So they got to be nice to each other. I'm just teasing. But first of all, um, what is so important about this month for both of you as restaurant owners? It really gives us a chance to highlight everything that you know we do. So for us personally, mm -hmm. it's a great opportunity to showcase everything that we serve to our customers and to get exposure to the community and get people to come out. Exactly. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it's important because I know a lot of uh, Asian restaurants were hit so hard by the pandemic and so many of them closed. And so we really, as a staple for, we're talking about dozens and so many years here in this community, mm -hmm. it is really good to be able to give back and help all of these restaurants such as your own. So let's talk about what you're going to be make today. This is important. We have crawfish, which is amazing. If you can yeah. see right here, but you guys do it a special way, not the traditional way some people say in Louisiana, but there's a, a Cajun kind of fusion, uh, Vietnamese kind of fusion going on here. So yeah. what is that? So we, we actually see it with our, our house seasoning, garlic butter, uh -huh. and we do uh, soak a crawfish really well. Okay, well. so what kind of seasons do you put on here? So there's, our, well, our garlic butter is pre-seasoned. We pre-cook it and Go then for we it. top it off. Yeah, so show there me how you are. do it. So you're going to pour it on there. Yep. And while he's doing all of that, um, when you think about the cuisines like this, and you've mm -hmm. always added your own fusion technique to it, but it also, it's about family for you, isn't yes. it? So tell me about that, the ingredients that you combine with all the food that you do is yeah. representation of the culture. Oh, for sure. Um, you know, we both grew up in Houston, mm -hmm. right? And being in Houston, we eat crawfish, we eat a lot of different stuff than the rest of the country. Right. And we're able to take a lot of Vietnamese influences, you know, seasonings and spices mm -hmm. to add it to our cuisine. Gotcha. So it's really nice. It's, it's very unique to Houston, I would say. The exactly. Cajun. Yeah, it's born here. So it's got Vietnamese, you've got Cajun, you've mm -hmm. got uh, Southern, you've yeah. got Texan, all mm -hmm. of that mingled all into in all one. that. It looks mm -hmm. beautiful if you see this. It's gonna. And you also have shaken beef, which is one of my favorites. And mm -hmm. if you don't mind, I'm gonna try this because oh, go for it. I have to. It's it's necessary. <laughs> and right, so her, her, I'm not talking with my mouth full. I don't care. This is so good. Yep. But, oh my God, mm -hmm. in my plate. I'm just saying. But if there's one thing for someone who has not tried the Asian cuisine throughout mm -hmm. this community, what is, how do you describe that in one word? What would you say? Flavorful, a lot of uh, deep roots, culture behind all of our seasoning, all of our recipes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, that is just you, it's your family, right? Yeah. It's like, yeah. It's like bearing your soul in front mm -hmm. of the public saying, yeah. hey, this is part of who we are and it's part of our tradition. Oh, for sure. And especially for Skip, these are family recipes that mm -hmm. he's used and kind of wow. curated. Yeah, so he's tweaked it a little bit, but I mean, he does an amazing job. Well, gentlemen, I really do appreciate it. I want everyone to remember the importance of mm -hmm. Asian American Pacific Islander. They've actually added Native Hawaiian in there. So yeah. it's Asian American Native Hawaiian Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Mm -hmm. Oh, I remember all of yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, you did a great But job. also because um, this is about reminding people you are part of this community. Mm -hmm. You help to build and develop this community. Yeah. So share with this community by supporting these small businesses and reminding everyone that with small businesses, that's what helps make a community every single For day. For sure. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, thank you so much. And once again, co-owners of South by Saigon, check them out. And Houston Happens, the fabulous Maggie Fleckno is coming up with so much action you don't want to miss. And we have a lot more tomorrow for you as well. Have a great day, everyone. Take care. And I'm going to try some more food. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah.